Calls for a controversial Kansas politician to step down are increasing. Democratic Kansas House Representative Aaron Coleman was taken into police custody over the weekend for an alleged DUI. This isn't the first scuffle the 21-year-old has had with the law, and some of his fellow state leaders say he should resign. Abby Dodge reports. Police arrested state rep Aaron Coleman for suspicion of driving under the influence on Saturday at 1 in the morning. He posted the $250 bond that afternoon. It's just the latest in a string of arrests and complaints that have some lawmakers say he's unfit for office. Kansas Governor Laura Kelly doubled down on that sentiment tonight, adding his continued presence in the legislature is a disservice to his constituents. He should resign immediately and seek the treatment that he needs. If he does not resign, the legislature should use its process to remove him from office. Representative Ree Shue from Johnson County says this isn't getting better. His district deserves better. She was referencing a long list of past allegations. Most recently, Coleman was arrested for domestic battery. The affidavit says Coleman pushed, hit, and spit on his 18-year-old brother, causing a fight. The argument stemmed from his brother saying he was going to get baptized. He also is banned from the Kansas Department of Labor offices for disruptive behavior. Coleman claims he was trying to help his constituents. In January of this year, the Kansas House Select Investigating Committee dismissed a complaint against Coleman. He was accused of abusive behavior. With Coleman's most recent arrest, his fellow lawmakers are calling for him to step down. The House Democratic leader says Representative Coleman is in dire need of help. For the sake of the state of Kansas, his constituents, and himself, he should resign and concentrate on getting the help he badly needs. The stress of the legislature is not a healthy environment for someone in this mental state.